You are really, really smart about what you do for a living. The problem is you're so smart that it's actually hurting your business. I'm Nick Carpenter, and this is your Friday Quickie. Okay, so this idea actually came to me from a guy named Derek Halpern. He runs socialtriggers.com. It's a great website, a great blog. You should definitely check it out. And he actually calls this the curse of knowledge, right? Sometimes when we've spent so much time and so much energy learning something and, and putting our focus into something, we may not even realize like, that we know so much more than what everybody else knows. And so when we talk about things and we use little jargon and crazy little phrases and stuff, like people don't understand what that means, right? If you're a loan officer, some of those phrases could be uh, the Fed, bond programs, DTI, FHA, 203K, HUD, 1003, right? These are all terms that you know as a loan officer because you deal with it every single day. But Joe Buyer, that you're trying to convince to come buy a house from you, they don't know what that stuff means, right? All you do is confuse them. I saw this again with some people yesterday on Facebook, which is really what's prompting this video, is I constantly see loan officers out there sharing information, and they're speaking like crazy loan officer talk to the point that nobody even understands what that stuff means. So just give that crap up, man. Boosh! If you're a realtor, same thing for you, right? Some of the phrases that can confuse people are like option period, earnest money, uh, P-I-T-I, -I, right? What's included in a mortgage payment? Um, you know, uh, escrow accounts, right? Those are all things that they're not familiar with. They've never dealt with that stuff before. So you have to talk in terms the way people can understand exactly what you mean, right? Use plain English. If you're not sure about it, ask your husband, ask your wife, ask a friend that's not in the same industry you are in, okay? If you if are a loan officer or a realtor and you go ask another person in the space, of course they're going to understand you. They do that crap too. So, right, you got to go and find somebody that doesn't understand it. Ask them if it makes sense before you put it out there publicly, and you're going to see your conversions go higher. If you need any more help like that, holler at me. I'm here for you. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel somewhere right around here. Show me some love with a like in the bottom, and uh, we'll see you next time. They really are just too damn smart. All right, I got it. I got it this time.